back everyone four acres in a farmhouse youtube channel uh today we're going to just talk about maybe what direction we're going with the channel and a little bit about who we are and where we've been and what what we're going to do moving forward we started this channel three years ago two and a half years ago and our intention i think at the time was to just document the renovation of of the house mostly and then it quickly morphed into doing other things. Um, like gardening and... Yeah, we, we kind of figured out that there's... I mean, obviously, we do a lot more than just house renovation videos. Um, In fact, house renovating is probably the thing we do least. least. <laughs> <laughs> um, as time has gone on with the channel, we figured out that we don't want to just pigeonhole ourselves into doing just house rental videos. Um, because again, that's that's just a small percentage of. We do a lot of, of other things, do. and uh, the problem is, is that when we do these other things, we don't always think about taking the camera with us, and it's it's hard. It, it's hard to grab the camera and take the camera and get the shot and which sounds silly because we we also we realize that like we're not filmmakers obviously yeah it's well, more of a, a home movie you know nor are we the only ones that do this right. i mean other people are doing it and getting it done and we we get it um but it's it's uh it's hard it's a challenge to take the camera and set it up and then go do what you do and maybe move the camera around get a different angle um, it takes twice as long to do anything when you're filming what you're doing. However, we're going to try to do more of it. We've uh, we've been on a little bit of a hiatus, and we realized that we were putting out videos almost weekly, pretty religiously every week, and then we slowed down a little bit. And there was there's a few reasons for that. One reason was winter came along, and just kind of slowed everything down. Um, and then there was this little thing called COVID. I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Cor Coronas virus, something like that. Corona. Corona. My Corona. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that slowed everything down. No excuse about that really, but it's true. I mean, it kind of slows, it slowed everybody down. Everybody knows it. So between wintertime weather and just COVID slowing things down and then we're just, you know, obviously he has a full-time job. I work part-time. We homeschool. I mean, we have just, we're busy. We have other things yeah. going on and, uh, there's a lot of commitments and yeah, a lot of juggling Yeah. right now. We feel like maybe you guys don't necessarily want to see all that. Maybe you do. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems that most of our viewership comes from house renovation videos. Um, but we don't want to just pigeonhole ourselves in just doing house renovation or me fixing stuff or me working on stuff. Um, because we have fun doing this. We have fun uploading the videos and editing the videos and doing it. And if we just stick to house renos, then it's just, uh, I don't know. Like I said, that's such a small part of what we do that, I don't know. We just thought we, we, we like documenting our life with our kids and our family and on our little plot of land. And we want to grow the channel, frankly. I mean, we want to grow the channel. We want to get more people involved. Um, and it's just, it's fun. We're having fun with it and we want to continue to have fun with it. And we want to grow it and we want to um, get more people in our circle. And, and one of the ways we see that we can do that is by documenting all the other things that we do in addition to, to yeah. home reno. Doing more than just home renovation. So if, if you haven't noticed our past several videos, um, there's been some hunting. Um, what, I think you did a day in the life video type thing. Mm -hmm. And um, we're gonna have more of that. Uh, we are going up to, I'm, I've chartered a boat in Lake Michigan here in about a month or so. And we're gonna take, her and I are gonna take our oldest daughter, Quinn, up there. Uh, the kid is crazy about salmon, eating it. 
Uh, she won't eat anything, but she's strictly meat and potatoes, this kid. Any, meat, any protein. It doesn't matter what it is. Any and protein. starch. She, yeah. Starchy carbs yeah. and uh, protein. But she loves salmon. Fine. I'm going to take her up to Lake Michigan. We're going to go salmon fishing. And uh, so we're going to bring you that, that type of stuff. So speaking of getting to know us. Speaking to getting, speaking of getting to know us, um, a little bit about us and our backstory. We have been together for about 19 years in July. It'll be 19 years. And we met on a blind date. I was working with a guy that was dating a girl that she was working with and they set us up we went on a double date blind date together and we've been together ever since i never left never left <laughs> which is fine um we just were both at a point in our lives where i was looking for a beautiful young lady and uh she just happened to show up at the right <laughs> I was, time i was gonna say you were looking for a beautiful young lady, and I, I was closest. I was the closest fit. No way. No way. Um, and I'll be honest, I wasn't looking for. I wasn't. I mean, I was. I was twenty two. I'm younger, so I wasn't looking necessarily for. Were you gonna cry? No. Your eyes looked watery, like you were getting all teary eyed. No. That would have been sweet. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I, I, I was only 22. I wasn't looking for uh, anything really. I was, I had one semester left of college and... She was 22, getting ready to turn 23. Yeah, I was almost 23. I was... You had just turned 27. I had, 20, I had just turned 27 the day before. I turned 27 on a Friday. The day before our date. Our birthday, or our blind date was on the next day, Saturday. And uh, so I had just turned 27. So I was almost 23. He had just turned 27. Um, he was looking for, he, he was ready to settle down. He was, he was nearing, he was downhill slide to 30. And then <laughs> I was a young pup. I was an old man. I was a young pup, just, just finishing up her education. Uh, anyway, the rest is history. We met and it was, I mean, like I never left. Like really, yep. I don't know that I ever left. I think, I think we did. talked on the phone like one time because we were together pretty yeah. much all from then from the on out. Anyway, so um, we ended up marrying about three years after we met. So the other house that you have seen in our videos is where my mom lives now. And we lived there for about 13 years before we bought the house that this house, the farmhouse, the four acres and the farmhouse that we live in now. That you grew up in. I grew up here and uh, my dad grew up here. My grandpa bought this house in 1946, right after he got back from the war and uh, raised my dad and my uncle here. Um, and then my mom and dad bought it off of my grandma and grandpa shortly after it was like 76 i was born yeah because you were like a year maybe. yeah um so i've lived here virtually all my life um with you know the exception of moving away for because you were an adult yeah i was so i moved away <laughs> when i was with mommy and daddy i was mom. i moved i moved out when i was 18 and then moved back in when i was 41. <laughs> <laughs> so um, but one thing I think is cool, and I I didn't realize this. I mean, I realized it, but um, so the he grew up he grew up here in the house that we live in, and his dad grew up here, and the house I grew up in was also the house that my mom grew up in, and I just think that's neat. It's like a I don't know family tradition, something we do. Yeah. Yeah. And our girls, who knows? Maybe one of them will buy this place off of us one day. And Raise their family. Keep it in the family. They're the fourth generation. Yeah, they'll be the fourth the generation that, live, that uh, has lived here. Yep. Um, the house was built in... Late eight, 1800s. We don't know for sure. 1895 Yeah, 1895, 96 maybe. Who knows? Um, not related to us. Um, and I think maybe had two or three owners. 
before my grandpa bought it? Your grandpa was owner number three. Okay. Yeah. So, but my grandpa and grandma grew up in this area. So, you know, they were familiar with the, the house, yeah, the they property, the house, yeah. probably knew the people that they bought it off of. I don't know. So outside of the channel and what we do with the house and renovating and just, you know, raising a family, um, Rob, Rob works full time. He's an engineer. Um, I'm, I work part time. I'm a teacher. Uh, I, we homeschool our girls. So, um, I, I want to say that homeschooling allows me to work part time, but really, um, Rob working full time outside the house and me working part time from home allows us the flexibility to homeschool. So um, that's we've always homeschooled our girls. We have we our plan and our desire is to continue homeschooling them all the way through their their formal education until they go to college. Yeah, this is just the life, uh, the kind of life that we have envisioned uh, for ourselves and for our family, and we're making the best of it. So as far as homeschooling goes, um, we've always just really felt called to do this. And just the fact that um, we opportunities have presented themselves to allow us to continue homeschooling, um, both financially and just logistically, uh, has kind of um, just been our, our reassurance that this is what we're meant to do and this is how you know we want to, to teach our girls. Um, we realize homeschooling is not for everyone and just like public school is not for everyone. Um, but we're just, we feel really, really uh, grateful that that we can do this and that we can be with our girls even though their days went on like, you know. Get me out of the house. Yeah, get me out of the house. Can't get a moment alone. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't change it. And it's been such a blessing. And it's been, um, our girls are thriving. And I don't know, it's just. Yeah. It's just and she taught, she taught public school for 12 years. I worked in the heating and air conditioning field for a number of years before um, I got my engineering degree and then he went back to school when our oldest was I think a year and a half um, to get his engineering degree and then we started with one baby who was a year and he graduated with we had three babies that were like what two four and six I think at the time um, so that was tough that was tough. We uh, we sacrificed a lot. A lot. Oh my goodness, and a lot. He worked, worked really hard. Yeah, he worked. He worked like two jobs, one full time, one part time. Went to school. And then um, mowed lawns. And mowed lawns on I the mean, weekends and in the evenings. Yeah, and for I the could. for the first two and a half years of our youngest daughter's life, she literally only ever saw him on Saturdays and Sundays, like because he would be gone before they got up and then he would be home after they'd gone to bed. And so, um, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. There were a lot of nights that I, that there were tears, a lot of nights for me, I think, you know, just. Yeah, but we got through it yeah. and, um, you know, God had a, had and has a plan for us. And, um, we feel like we're working the plan. And I can't imagine being, I, I can't imagine being anywhere else or doing anything else than what we're doing right now. Yeah, me either. It just feels right. I mean, unless I was lakefront on some place in Wisconsin, <laughs> fishing every day. I mean, I, other than that, I can't really imagine. Other than that, I don't think I would do, be anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the reason for doing this video is uh, we just, again, we wanted to kind of We've never done this. Um, we've never given you a explanation or what's the word? Like backstory history. Yeah, backstory history of who we are, where we're coming from, where we've been, where we're going. And uh, we are going to really try to make a conscious effort to put out more videos and be more consistent with our videos and let you in some more and just do some more things with the girls um, and just kind of our daily lives, I guess, maybe more of that instead of just me banging away with a hammer. And we want to show you more of our interests too and, and yep. more of, of. We like to cook, we like to garden, we like to. 
I like to build. I like to I like to fix things and build and um but also we like to play and do fun things and um, we like to work out. It may not show, but <laughs> Yeah, it may not show. I like to eat. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the I like problem. to eat. It's not the working out, it's the eating. Right. Yeah. So we've been kicking around doing something, uh maybe a playlist called Four Acre Fitness. Um, in conjunction with the channel and not that I'm no expert at all, but, uh, you know, I need to lose some weight and I'm ready to do it. And I'm thinking if I, if I video some of the content, I'll be held accountable and then it'll help me. You know, it wasn't long ago that I looked like this and this and I don't know, like many of you, getting older presents challenges and makes it tougher. Once life starts happening and your body starts changing. Metabolism slows down. That's right, you gotta make. Changes. You gotta make changes and you gotta work harder um, and you just gotta make time for yourself. And, which I've never had a problem doing until recently, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, Anyway, that's gonna change. Incidentally, Four Acre Fitness is the name of a fitness ministry that I run at our church right down the road. We're knocking around the idea of how to incorporate that into the channel. And just bring, provide more content. Right. Right. And again, show you some of the things that we that like we to do. do yeah, and, and that we're involved in. Yeah, and just show you what we do. I mean, I, I go out in the field back here and I run. Um, I've got- You use logs as- I use logs as weights, <laughs> as weights. and phone poles. I got telephone poles. Um, that I use as, as weights and work out with them. Um, and I'll bring my girls back here and they'll sit and they'll watch cheer you on. and cheer me on. And yeah, it's, it's all good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, hiking, riding bikes. I mean, we do all that stuff all the time. Uh, we don't necessarily bring you along all the time, but I think we're going to start. Yeah. So. So I guess let us know, like, is that. What do you want to see? Is that is this yeah, stuff you want to see? I mean, or is does this even are we just blowing hot air here? Spinning our wheels, right. maybe. Maybe we are, maybe, maybe we, we aren't. Are. But know. uh don't know until we do it. Don't yeah. know until we try. I guess uh the feedback we get will let us know if you like it or not. And well, we watch a lot of channels where um Well, we want to be a channel. Here's the thing too. We watch a lot of channels that do things like this because we can watch them with our girls. We can we can watch them as a family. And you know our our girls aren't laying there like ugh you know they're watching this again. It's something they're they engaged. enjoy too. And so we just thought if that's something that our girls enjoy doing is watching other families and do we enjoy stuff too. that we do, then why aren't we why aren't we, why aren't we doing why aren't we documenting some of these the stuff? Yeah. Why are we just strictly limiting ourselves to Reno? Yep. Which is all all well and good. That's fine. Yep. And we're we're really having fun engaging with. Um, what, what we call super fans. Um, <laughs> There's three of you. <laughs> we have three super fans. And that, uh, that's Sue Norton, Armina, Armina Perez, and Jim Bailey. Jim Bailey. We love you guys. Yeah, we, we have fun engaging with uh, some of the regulars, if you will. With all three of you. With all three of you, yes. It's good times. Um, but uh, Anyway, we have fun with it. And it's just, it's just fun. It's just been fun. Yeah. So... It's fun, and we can. We're going to continue to do it. And um, as our girls grow and get older, you're going to see them flourish, and just kind of see our lives progress. Um, and then not only that, we're documenting it for ourselves. I mean, gone are the days of VHS the tapes. the VHS yeah. recorder and the home video recorder. Um, this is kind of a way to document that stuff, and yet. I guess put it out there and, and bring some people in um, and build community, which is what we're learning in a, in a small group that we're in. And um, We weren't meant to do this life alone. We were, we were designed for community and uh, outreach. Yep. And, and we're going to, we're going to bring you some of that as well, probably. So um, we are, Believers in Jesus Christ and 
that's a big part of our lives. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of good things to come with the channel. And uh, we want everybody to be involved, as many as possible. So I'm excited. I'm excited, excited too. I'm excited too. So like, share, subscribe, and uh, please join us on this journey. We're, we're ready to have some fun with it. And we can't wait to get started with the new next chapter of the channel. So, anything else? Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.